I just finished watching every single piece of the UFC Media Day and pre-fight press conferences, and there are three fighters today that I want to take a look at, and I want to dive into their mindsets, how they're feeling, if there's anything that we can take a look at regarding, like, a betting standpoint from this, any little edge that we can get, I'm going to talk about it today. Timestamps will be there if you'd like to skip to any particular fighter, guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I'm your guy with many YouTube channels. Let's start off with Kennedy Nizakchukwu. So initially, after watching Kennedy Nizakchukwu, I was listening to him and I was like, wow, this guy's a really good mindset for the game. And I've listened to him talk before, of course, but I mean, he was sitting here being so respectful to OSP, still saying he's very dangerous, talking about training in MMA so hard that he doesn't have any downtime because he got into the sport late. He needs to keep evolving his skill set. He was touching on all of that, but one thing actually made me kind of halt for a second in my good feelings. And it's a question he was asked, what did you learn from, from your last loss? And he didn't really answer the question. <laughs> he didn't really answer the question. And that's a little bit of a problem because a lot of people need to take their losses and really learn from something. But if you want to ignore that, if you just want to like, I don't know what you would really, maybe he didn't want to answer the question. Maybe there's a specific part of his game that he didn't want to share something that he learned, something that he's going to adapt to his game and use against OSP. Maybe that's why he wasn't answering. Other than that though, the dude's always in the gym is taking OSP seriously I got a good feeling from him. It's just that one little piece of information that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Next up, guys, I want to talk about Brian Battle. So Brian Battle, he is very happy, very excited to be here. My only problem with Brian Battle is I, w I wonder a little bit if he's too excited for this because he's talking about how good his opponent is, how dangerous it is, but all of that just excites him. And that's a good thing, I guess, but he actually really, really does seem ultra excited to have a fight and have a fight against a really, really good fighter, which again is great. But at what point does that really put a halt in how good your performance is or how serious you're taking your opponent? If you're, I can't imagine going into this, looking forward to fighting your opponent. Maybe you couldn't be taking the danger element too seriously, but with Brian battle, I might be taking a look like way too deep into it because at the end of the day, he's been performing amazing, but man worries me a little bit, worries me a little bit because what if he has this whole mindset the entire way up he's got to start worrying and taking things I'm not saying he's not taking things seriously but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying he could be a little bit too excited for his fight now guys there was one fighter on the card one fighter on the card that I got a very bad feeling from but at the end of the day I did bet on this man and I'm going to continue <laughs> I still think he's gonna win man so Tai Tuivasa okay Tai Tuivasa is tired he's sick of training he was talking about injuries and wants this whole fight week to be over that's not so great. If he hit, like, I mean, just look at the guy. You could probably do, you could probably figure out that he doesn't like training in general. Just take a look at him, right? But he's tired of training. He wants fight week to be over. He wants the fight to be over. He wants to get a quick knockout. He was talking about losing his last fight because of injuries. I'm not denying that he had injuries, but that can't, that's not a good mindset to have, man. Like, oh, I'm tired of training. Had a camp. I didn't want to work out. Now I'm here for the fight. I just want it to be all over. Like, that's not good. That's not good. That doesn't tell me you want to win the fight. Doesn't tell me you want to get to the title. Doesn't tell me you were motivated one little bit. You trained just so you could probably get a paycheck and then have all of this be over. He's lucky he has size and power, man, because if he always has that mindset, which I don't think he may have had that mindset, but definitely not to this extent. He was really, really like, he seemed sick of it all at the press conference, honestly. He seemed like he didn't want to be there. He wants to go home. He wants to go on a trip. He wants to stop working out. Makes me worry a little bit for Taito Ivasa. Now, out of all the fighters, there were only three fighters that I did have a big takeaway from. And let me know what you guys think down below. It's probably a really quick video. I don't know how long I've been talking about. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Check out the video on screen right now. It's a betting guide for this upcoming card this weekend. I will see you either there or in the next video, everybody. Take care.